Hey guys, this is Andre. I'm outside of Startup 2016. This is a free event hosted by Enterprise Nation. It's aimed at early stage entrepreneurs, giving advice, workshops, and talking about topics related to starting a company. I'm keen to see what they've got on offer. Let's check it out. Um, I'm trying to look how to build traffic. I've noticed that um, offline kind of methods are probably better than online kind of methods for building traffic, like actually doing things like videos and stuff. I wanted to know um, on Facebook what are the kind of best ways to build traffic. Because even though it sounds simple, it's hard to get a lot of people and friends. So, what would you suggest? All right, first of all, round of applause for all. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> we are Facebook. All you guys should be up here with me all. Welcome to you all. Man shall not be subordinate to machine, remember all that, about humanising technology. And of course that shows up through everything they do, both in terms of the products and services that you know, they look so wonderful, they're designed for human beings, you don't just want to use them, you want to lick them, don't you? Just my own personal stuff. Uh, and also as far as the external, the soft offer, the more customer uh, service offer, they reposition nerds as geniuses, fantastic. Again, these are human beings serving you in stores as opposed to sort of stiff people who don't know what they're talking about. Uh, in terms of the internal culture, that's the human culture, even the HP was designed around you know, people feeling, working collaboratively and so on. And also in terms of the hard stuff, they hardwire their service characteristics in people, hardwire in their training. And also, and this process, and the ultimate in hard wiring course internally was the guy who symbolised all the best about the Apple brand, which is St. Steve uh, of Jobs. So I decided I was going to jump onto the internet, and this was in the year 2006. I started to dabble in various, various adventures, forums, blogs, a little website, just because I really wanted to dive in to be the first and really teach myself, understand online marketing, and understand how to get onto the internet. So in 2006, I launched a very, very simple website for £300 called My Voucher Codes, and I outsourced it to India using a, a website that's probably not around anymore called Rectacoder, but it's the same as freelancer.com. Essentially, that business grew from my bedroom to, in the first year, I think it did a half a million pounds, second year it did a million pounds, third year it did five million pounds, ten million pounds, it was very, very possible, and I was the sole shareholder throughout that year. So I'm Ricky Lee, the founder of Findex. So I'm here to pitch Findex. What is Findex? It's a marketplace for currency exchange. So the informal labor market and staffing therein has two key problems. One, it's inefficient. It's far too difficult for people looking for shift up, shift work to find available opportunities and it takes too long for establishments to find the staff that they need. Now, in the middle you've got existing travel guides, generally book form, so not personalised, can't be up to date, uh, and generally written by one or two people. 
And then you've got online social platforms like TripAdvisor, which aren't used by backpackers because the content isn't particularly relevant for them and is uh, limited to non-existent off the beaten track, which is where backpackers are. So the solution is Backtracker, a, a social platform where users can share and discover things to do and places to go for backpacking. So why should So I've just wrapped it up with the Startup 2016 event, and wow, what a day it's been. I've shared experiences of successful entrepreneurs that have sold their companies for millions of pounds and have learnt exactly how to build a brand off a budget. It's been a great day and I feel really inspired. I think I'm off to run a startup.